Welcome back. We are here looking at the U.S. indices, and this is going to be my daily forecast for the U.S. indices and the big tech stocks in the United States for Wednesday, December 16, 2020. If you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, where you can get access to our full technical analysis, our signal service, and also our online courses and trades. Um, the link is down below, and you're well welcome. So we'll start by looking at the S&P 500, and as you can see, we are up as 1.29% you know, today. And uh, yes, this is mainly stimulus talk. That is what this market cares about, and therefore we are rallying at this point. We ran into support at the 20 exponential, and then we have rallied ever since. So we are roughly up 1.68% uh, since we basically touched the 20 exponential. At this point, we are targeting these highs, and that is roughly 3,716. If that breaks, we're most likely going to 3,750. If you look at technical indicators, we are not overbought yet. We are 62, but the other indicators are showing signs of bullishness. Stochastic is turning around. The MACD is becoming flat and it's going to cross the signal line uh, sooner or later to the upside, bullishness. And uh, the uh, CCI is also becoming more bullish. So we all ran into the top of the Bollinger Band roughly at the uh, roughly 3,731. There will be quite a lot of support. So whether or not we get to 3,750, that's the question. Uh, but but 40 points more before we run into resistance, that's... Um, that is most likely what is going to occur here. So if you look at the other time frames, the 50 minutes, the 30 minutes, the one hour and the four hour chart, we can see in the four hour chart, we have a W shape here, which is a fairly bullish shape. And uh, we can see it better here in the four, uh, 30 minutes chart. So it is most likely that we're going to test these highs here at 3,711, give or take. And if that breaks, then we are going towards uh, 3,750. These we are trending. Um, well, I can see it. If the stimulus package basically um, gets true, then this market is going to go significantly higher. And it is very likely that there is going to be some agreement as. Um, the U.S. economy is going to be severely hit if there is no agreement between uh, Democrats and Republicans. So it is very likely that we are going to see this market rally towards the end of the week. We may see a little bit of pullback uh, before uh, the before the announcement of, a, of an agreement. That is usually what happens. And then we basically rally after that. So be prepared for 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 that announcement. But we may also see a little bit of pullback here. So we are running, uh, we're testing at this moment, or going to test 3,697. So that is the previous highs here before we go to these highs. So we may pull back a little bit and head towards these highs. So let's look at the Dow Jones. So the Dow has also rallied the day, and at this point, I think that we are going to crack these previous highs. Uh, we have built enough momentum in the Dow Jones to go higher from here. So 31,000, that is the target for, for now. Um, RSI is only at 54. The stochastic is turning around. The MACD has become flat and also turning around. The CCI is turning around. So it is just a matter of time before we break above these previous highs and go higher. So I'm definitely not a seller at this market. At this point, I am buying the Dow. And um, of course, if there is additional stimulus, then we are going to rally significantly higher. 700 points, that is, that is probably going to be easy for the next uh, week or two. So let's look at the NASDAQ. So NASDAQ has also rallied yet again. If we manage to take out these previous highs, then we're heading to 14,000. The problem with the NASDAQ at this point is that we are overbought. So we may see a pullback from here towards the 20 exponential, 
that is roughly 2% at this point. So just be aware that we may have a pullback probably tomorrow and then we get the negotiation on Thursday or Friday and then we are basically going to rally. Otherwise, we'll probably get the negotiation in the week, in the weekend and uh, therefore we will rally on Monday. But if we manage to take out these highs, then we are going to 13,000. I'm definitely not a seller here. Every single pullback, minor pullback, the, the Nasdaq does is basically a buying opportunity. So let's look at the tech stock. And as you can see, it has been fairly quiet. Apple, strangely enough, is the, the tech stock of these that has been doing best today. I was actually expecting uh, Apple to fall today, but it rallied nearly 5%. But we'll start by looking at Netflix. So Netflix ran into some resistance here at 525 or give or take 520, 525. And then we broke down to 518 at this point. So this is a fairly bearish shine for Netflix stock. And we did not manage to break the previous highs here, which means that we will most likely go lower from here. The RSI is becoming negative, the CCI is becoming negative, but the MACD and the, um, and the Stochastic are still bullish. We are hitting the top of the Bollinger Band, so we may head towards the 20 exponential moving average, which is roughly here at $504 a share. So that is fairly likely that we'll pull back towards that level um, on uh, on Monday, se on uh, Wednesday session, and that would also coincide with the, a pullback in the Nasdaq. So let's look at Microsoft. We can see that Microsoft is one of the most disappointing tech stocks uh, for the last three, four weeks. Nothing has really happened here. It has basically been trading in the highs of 217 to the lows of 208 for a very long time, apart from these previous highs and these lows. So the very lows of this market is the 150 moving average. That is all the way down here. We can just get it down there. That is basically how far this market will go. And if it gets down there, that's definitely a buying opportunity. And the very highs are at 232. So we are at the low end, but we just can't get away from the 50 and 100 moving average. We're just sticking around here nothing is really happening. Even though uh, you can see that a stochastic is turning around at this point, it's probably why we have found quite a lot of uh, support here at the 200 moving average at uh, $212 a share. But MACD is bearish, the RSI is bearish, the CCI is bearish. So until these indicators basically are turning around and we cross the signal line as a stochastic, we won't go significantly higher. But if we manage to take out 217, then we are going all the way up towards 228 and probably the all-time highs. So Apple. At this point, Apple is significantly overbought. So the, one of the reasons why I've uh, expected Apple to fall towards a 50 moving average a day is because it was overbought uh, yesterday. So a pullback towards the 20 exponential moving average, that is highly likely at this point. And that is a fall of roughly 4.4%. So as you can see, the expectation that the, that the NASDAQ is going to fall before we go to 13,000 are quite high at this point. So, uh, and when you see the major stocks of that indice uh, about to fall quite significantly, that is a, a quite a clear indication that we are going to see a pullback in the Nasdaq before we go significantly higher. So if you look at Amazon, Amazon is trading up toward at the 50 moving average at this point. We have not broken the 50 moving average. We have been rallying from these lows of 3,080 towards the 3,181. That's roughly 3.55%. Um, but we need to break the 50 moving average in order to get to these highs at uh, 3,252 and then towards 3,368. So 
If we don't break the 50 moving average, we are heading back towards 150 moving average, which is roughly 3,039. Technical indicators for Amazon stock are looking more promising. And the RSI is flat at this point. The CCI is flat at this point, but the MACD is crossing the signal line. The stochastic is crossing the signal line. And we are heading towards the top of the Bollinger Band. So that is roughly uh, 3,229. So at this point, the lower this basically gets, the better the buying opportunity because this is going to go higher within time. So Tesla hasn't had a lot of action today. We are trading at $636 a share. We have not tried tested these very highs at $655 today. But at this point, I would not be surprised if we have a pullback towards the 20 exponential. So that is roughly a fall at 7.5%. And of course, if that happens, it will also be a drag on the Nasdaq. We can see that the technical indicators are looking, they're still bullish, most of them, but they are turning around. Stochastic has turned around, RSI has turned around, CCI is flat, and the MACD is crossing the signal line now. So a pullback towards the 20 exponential, that is fairly likely for this market at this point. So pullbacks are buying opportunities also for Tesla stock. So Facebook has rallied significantly. This was probably one of the better trades that I did today because um, it's uh, overshot the 100 moving average. So at this point, I thought it was going to fall apart all the way down towards the 150 moving average, which is down at 258. But we cut short. We went all the way down to 267. And that was... a uh, very good buying opportunity for Facebook stock. Even though these technical indicators are looking fairly bearish at this point, we are going to see a most likely going to see a pull uh, turnaround. But every single time it gets close to the 100 moving average, that is a buying opportunity. You can see that we have tested it here, here, here. This is the bottom of this market. And at some point, we are going to cross the 50 moving average here roughly at uh, 275 and then we're going to head to these highs again and uh, that is quite a nice trade which is roughly 13.7% uh, and it, at this point I don't think it will come a better entry will be better than this entry down here so this is just to hold on for a few weeks when we get to these highs and you get basically 13% uh, increase so google we're just staying here at this point the the rsi is down at 48 um, so we are getting fairly low in this uh, stock and a pullback is expected so when you hang around for this long in an area and you don't break significantly down that is basically a sign that we are going to rally whether or not that's going to happen tomorrow or, or, or thursday I think it will most likely happen when rest of the stocks are going to rally. So what we need to take out is 1847. And after that, we're heading towards 2000. Technical indicators for Google stock are looking quite dire at this point. But the stochastic is rounding off here. So within one or two trading days, it is becoming going to become bullish again. And then we're going to see the stock increase again so hope you find this helpful you're welcome to support our channel by subscribing hit the like button the bell button to see our newest videos and you're welcome to join us our patreon the link is down below good luck and thank you very much